Dr. Stephen Cameron, I believe he's back to us. So, and he will be sharing with us on leadership in entrepreneurship. What a great topic for someone that has been working hard and in the sector of banking and other things. He's a leader there. So I think we are going to get a very good information from him this afternoon. So Dr. Stephen Cameron is the member of Chambers of Commerce, Lago, members of Homopathic Medical Council of Pakistan, and also um, the Diploma in Christian Ministry, Diploma in Bible Studies, Senior Manager in Banking Professionals, also lecturing the MCB Bank Staff College and also following and also doing all kinds of great works in the society. Um, what can I say again? He, he, ha, he holds a master's in business administration, executive majors marketing and finance from Malago School of Economics. He also have um, other great uh, prof professional awards and uh, skills and certificates and diplomas and also presented skills training courses to many computer courses practical training as well and uh, he is our vice president of UIYCI Pakistan and let me hint you as well for one thing maybe I should say it now we are privileged to have both the mother and the son in our platform so Dr. Stephen Cameron is the proud son of Dr. Samina Evelyn. So we are blessed in YYCI to have a whole family joining us and also doing a great work. Over to you, Dr. Stephen Cameron. Thank you so much, our very dear Professor Dr. Queen Elizabeth Lucas for such an amazing introduction. And God bless you a lot. You are such an amazing leader and motivated and our mentor. We love you. Thank you. So the topic for today is leadership and entrepreneurship. As we all know that businesses or entrepreneurs definitely uh, ventures need guidance, direction, good management, good governance, good influence, good authorities, good supervision, and somebody who could be a commander or captain of the ship. So leadership is very, very, very important in entrepreneurship, but but first of all, let's see that what does the word or term entrepreneur means? An entrepreneur is an individual who starts and operates a business, assuming the risk and rewards associated with it. The key characteristics of entrepreneur is innovativeness they are innovators they are creators they are risk takers they have got immense creativeness determination and strong desire for achievement now let us see what does the term entrepreneurship means entrepreneurship refers to the process of creating and managing a new enterprise typically with considerable innovation and risk so we can say that it could be a business initiative and an innovative venture also. So the key aspects of entrepreneurship are it involves identifying opportunities, marshalizing resources, and navigating uncertainties to create value. So uh, let's see, first of all, that who are the famous entrepreneurs in the business circle these days. And uh, I'm pretty much sure that, you know, everyone of us would know few names out of it. 
these are very famous names and uh, let us see their entrepreneurship ventures as well and the leadership qualities right the first entrepreneur which uh, we want to discuss here is elon musk elon musk is the owner of tesla and he's the owner of spacex and we also know that you know he also owns twitter so uh, musk co-founded tesla known for electric vehicles and SpaceX also, that is a private aerospace manufacturer company. So the leadership qualities which Elon Musk has, he's a visionary thinker. He is also planning to colonize Mars. He's a risk taker also. He pursues some ambitious projects like reusable rockets in SpaceX. He's an innovator also. He advanced the electric vehicle industry so much and he is leading this industry and also the space technologies for reusable rockets in SpaceX. So the second name, who is also one of the most famous names, the owner of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Bezos founded Amazon initially, an online bookstore, which grew into the world's largest e-commerce platform nowadays. And the leadership qualities which Mr. Jeff Bezos have, he has a customer obsession. He prioritized customer experience. He wants the customers to have delight whenever they visit his website, any store for purchases. He's a long-term thinker. His strategic thinking is exceptional. So he invests in new technologies like AWS, Amazon Web Services, which is one of the leading cloud service provider company across the globe. And adaptability also, because he expanded into various industries like cloud computing, streaming, and e-commerce businesses as well. So the third name, which is again a very famous name, he is a big entrepreneur. Unfortunately, he is not uh, with us, but his name would be you know, known to everyone. His name is Steve Jobs, who was a co-founder of Apple. So Jobs co-founded Apple and played a pivotal role in revolutionizing personal computing, smartphones, and digital content consumption. And the policies which he had were design excellence. As we all know that, you know, Apple is known for the aesthetics of the phone, aesthetic of all the products which they have, either that is, you know, their MacBook or the tab or whatever. So they focus on user-friendly products also. Um, innovation. Uh, Jobs was extremely innovative. He launched transformative products like iPhone and he had a charisma. He was very good at inspiring, you know, industry also and his team also. So the fourth name, which is also one of the famous names, Again, a big entrepreneur, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook. He is he's a famous entrepreneur. He co-founded Facebook, a social networking platform that transformed online communication and advertising also. And the leadership qualities which Mr. Zuckerberg has, he is a bold decision maker. Acquisition of Instagram and acquisition of WhatsApp also showed that, you know, he can take bold decisions, but that would definitely turn into profitable ventures as well. And adaptability also. Shifting focus to mobile and video content shows that he is very much adaptable to the changing industry circumstances or changing atmosphere in the industry. Strategic vision also. Uh, he expanded Facebook Facebook's global reach extremely well. So his strategic vision is also amazing. Another, uh, you know, another famous name is Sarah Blakely. Uh, he owns a garment brand known as Spanx. And it's a famous brand. It's a company specializing in shapewear for women. And the leadership qualities which Ms. Sarah has is innovation. She pioneered, she, she develops new product categories for the companies. 
and resilience also. Uh, she overcame initial setbacks and customer focus approach also, meeting the unmet needs in the market which customers have. So uh, the other name, which is also a very famous name, you know, she owns uh, a production house and she owns the own network that is a media and entertainment network. Her name is Oprah Winfrey, the owner of Harpo Productions and OWN. So uh, Winfrey founded Harper Productions and later launched the Oprah Winfrey Network, focusing on media and entertainment. The leadership qualities which she has, authenticity, resilience, and philanthropy as well. So uh, the seventh name and the last name in this list, the list would be very long, but you know, these are top notch business people or entrepreneurs, uh, Tony Shi, And he is the owner of basically Zappo. Zappo is online shoe and clothing retailer known for his customer services and corporate culture. So uh, the leadership qualities with Mr. Tony has, he's a customer services or a customer centric. He has a customer centric approach. He employs, he empowers the employees a lot create a positive work, workflow culture and innovation. Uh, these entrepreneurs exemplify various leadership qualities such as vision, innovation, adaptability, resilience, customer focus, which have been instrumental in their entrepreneurial success and impact on their respective industries. Now, uh, let's check out that why leadership is so important in entrepreneurship. Leadership in entrepreneurship refers to the capabilities of entrepreneurs to effectively guide the ventures towards success. It involves setting a clear vision for the business, making smart decisions, and motivating teams to achieve common goals. Successful entrepreneurial leaders are adept at fostering innovation, adapting to changes in the market, and managing risks while maintaining open communication with the stakeholders and employees as well. They exhibit resilience in overcoming obstacles and inspire confidence in their teams to navigate challenges and starting and scaling their businesses. Now, let's see that what other qualities which uh, leaders should have who lead the entrepreneurial ventures. They should be visionary thinkers, innovating thinkers, forward-looking people, futuristic people, imaginative people, creative people. Entrepreneurial leaders envision the future direction of their ventures. And they set the foundation for goal setting and inspire stakeholders. So that's why they should be innovative, forward-looking, futuristic, so that they would tell the stakeholders that the future of their company is really big, right? So let's see the example here. Elon Musk's vision for SpaceX to colonize Mars drives innovation and motivates the employees as well. So the second quality which uh, leaders has, these leaders who lead the entrepreneurial ventures is decision-making quality. Their judgment should be exceptional. Their determination, should be exceptional. Uh, the choices which they make should be good enough that would lead the company to profit or towards success. They should be very good in selection, either of the project or of the employees. And the leaders, entrepreneurial leaders, make critical choices to steer the business, as we know. And their decisions, judgment, shape the strategy and determine the future of the company. So uh, let's take the example here. Jeff Bezos' decision to prioritize customer experience at Amazon led to its dominance in e-commerce. So the decision, right decision at the right time would make the company successful. That's what Jeff Bezos has demonstrated. So uh, the other quality which these leaders should have that they should know how to motivate their teams they should know how to inspire their team. They should know how to boost the morale of their team. They should know how to encourage their team. 
they should know how to empower their team they should know how to 